guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching 300. Welcome back to my channel everyone, thank you so much for being here and welcome if you are new. Today we are jumping into the movie 300 which is a bit more of a war, warrior type movie with some historical tones to it. From what I've read it's based off of the battle of, I believe it's pronounced Thermopylae, 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 the faster I try to say it the harder. <laughs> the harder time I have pronouncing it. Basically, it was a battle that took place during the second invasion of the Persian War between Sparta and Xerxes, I believe. There's a lot of names in here that I might have a hard time pronouncing, but I haven't read too, too much about the historical events that occurred during this battle because, of course, if this movie is based off of that battle, I'd rather be surprised by things that happened in the movie and not necessarily expect to see certain things based off of what we know historically. I tend to have an issue when I watch historical movies if I'm too familiar with the history and I know that something is wrong or inaccurate or maybe not exactly how it happened. I tend to cling to those details. So I'd rather go into this movie not really knowing much about the history and then read about it after the fact. This movie was in a great poll over on Patreon. We had movies like Braveheart in the poll, The Last Samurai, The Last of the Mohicans. So if any of those movies sound interesting to you and you'd like to see me watch those or you would have voted for something else, make sure to click my Patreon link. I always link that in the description bar down below. You can vote in polls, help decide what we do here on this channel, as well as watch all my full length reactions to everything we watch over here. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I always link those in the description bar below as well. And I do exclusive posts over there that I don't do anywhere else. I only know a couple things about this movie. I don't know too, too much. I know it's based off of a historical battle. I believe it's called 300 because of the number of soldiers that there were on the Spartan side, I believe. The folks on Patreon also let me know that this was a movie that was filmed, if not completely, at least majority filmed with a green screen or a blue screen. So that'll be kind of interesting to see because I know when we've watched The Mandalorian, they film a lot of stuff with a screen and a new type of technology that makes everything look super realistic. So this movie was made back in 2007. So they'll definitely be using more dated technology. And I'll be interested to see if that's something that really is distracting at all to me or if the movie still came out really well. It seems like it has really good ratings. So definitely curious to see how they made it artistically and how they filmed it and how it looks. I also noticed that Lena Headey is in this movie. I'm very excited about that because we are watching her now in Game of Thrones as Cersei and I'd like to see her as a different character quite honestly because Cersei is awful in Game of Thrones and she's doing a great job performance wise in that piece. So I'm really curious to see what her acting style is like in something that's a bit different. But all in all, I don't know too much about this movie. So I am really excited to just jump on into this one and keep this intro short and sweet. So yeah, if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. The lighting design, all of this just feels like it's a horror movie. Yeah, this feels very horror. If he'd been small or puny, he would have been discarded. Oh my God. They just throw babies off the top of this rock. Like the Lion King, like Pride Rock, instead of like showing the kingdom, it's like, oh no, baby's a runt. You just toss it over the edge. Oh no, what's happening with his mother? At age seven, the boy was taken from his mother and plunged. Seven? Seven? It's a little too young in my opinion. Oh great, is he gonna face off with this werewolf creature thing? Why does it have yellow eyes? Why is that necessary? It's like a 300 BC type of wolf or something. He turned his back on the wolf? Damn, son, you got balls. Oh, he's making it come to him there in the in the crevice because he knew it would get stuck and it'd be a strength of his. Wow, good move, man. Is this foreshadowing for the battle? Yeah, the cinematic style for this is really like, already really contrasty, really dramatic. Definitely feels like we're reading like a, a book with illustrations kind of. To sacred Sparta, a king! Is this his hype man? A beast approaches. It was King Leonidas himself. Who provoked it. Oh no, what did King, what did the King do? He provoked it, oh God. Yeah, this does look kind of green screeny, I'm not gonna lie. It's just too perfect, you know? But I think it, so far it's working because it feels like we're, feels like reading a book, you know? All right, man. Uh oh, oh no, oh boy. Man, everybody really had to get shredded for this movie. They're all naked. All the God King Xerxes requires 
is this? A token of Sparta's Oh, a submission. token of Sparta's submission. They're not gonna submit. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I have heard that this is Sparta line before. I forgot about that. This is Sparta! Wow. You know, I take it back. This art almost feels like a video game. Because like here, this scene especially, like the background looks like an illustration, like a like almost like a watercolor painting. And then he's got these extreme contrasts and highlights on him. Like I like almost in like little nightmares or something, like a game. We have been expecting you. Oh geez. Hair and makeup had fun with this guy. The ephors, priests to the old gods. Oh. Inbred swine. Oh. No Spartan king has gone to war without the Eva's blessing. Oh. Wow, they really have their rituals. From there, we will funnel them into the mountain pass we call the Hot Gates. Yep. He's gonna use the narrow corridor like he did with the wolf. As you ordered. 300. 300. 300. We are with you, sire! For Sparta! All right, dude. I get it. You wanted a line. The Ephos have spoken. There must be no march. I've issued no such orders. I'm here just taking a stroll. Taking a stroll with all of our shields and swords and my 300 men. Oh, he's got to say goodbye to his family. Oh, she's giving him a necklace. Are you guys going to hug or something or kiss? You're just going to stare at each other for a long time and then walk away? No place for weakness. But like you're not in battle yet. You can't be weak for like a second. Only the hard and strong may call themselves Spartans. All right. I am not hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's what he said. I mean, sorry. Oh my God. I meant I'm not hard here, you know? Like I'm soft as f I'm sorry. Who is this guy with the, the, the crazy skinny hands? I wonder how long this battle is going to last. Because I feel like it, this movie is moving along so much faster than I thought it would. See, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. You, what is your profession? I'm a potter. Oh, he's gonna be like, look, 300 of my men are better than like, what, 500, 600 of your men because they're all soldiers. Spartans, what is your profession? I brought more soldiers than you did. <laughs> what a great way to convince him. Like, my men are pretty badass, man. He's so confident. What, who is that? Oh, that's the the creep the guy with the creepy long hands, huh? Oh God, how ominous! Behind us! Oh no! What the f guys? Is this like a horror movie? Jesus! Oh, there he goes. He's gonna faint. Oh God! Uh, that kid is not. Oh, I'm sorry. That acting was super melodramatic. Oh God! I'm nervous. Oh God! What do they look like? Oh God! What are they looking at? Ah! Jesus, they freaking attach them to a tree. Oh God, what are they gonna do with the kid now? They're just gonna bring the kid with them? Is they embraced by the loving arms of Greece herself. Oh, is this hype man guy? Is he also the narrator? I think he's also the narrator. Hi, queen. <gasps> there she is. She was just waiting around the corner. And you can arrange for me to speak to the council. I will do my best to gather our council. Leonidas is my king as well as you. So spooky, that whole scene. The way it was lit and staged. Why do you smile? Yet I've never met an adversary who could offer me what we Spartans call a beautiful death. There might be one down there who's up to the task. <laughs> Spartans have no fear, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is terrified. He's like, what did I sign up for? <laughs> Dry leaves in the face. Is he now realizing that there are bodies in the wall? Yeah. It's pretty morbid and terrifying, huh, man? Oh my god, what? Uh, an epic whip, oh my god. Wow, I will say that was a pretty epic, epic action shot. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. Ah, it's a pretty good line. Captain, have the men found any route through the hills to our back? None, sire. There is such a rope, good king. This guy that's been following him. Who is this guy? My mother's love led my parents to flee Sparta. Oh yeah, he would have been thrown off the cliff. So he's just been living somewhere else? Why does he want to fight for the place that would have discarded him as a baby? I am sorry, my friend. I cannot use you. You are wrong! Oh God. Oh God. 
Oh God, is that shield gonna land on someone? Jesus Christ. So this guy is gonna be a problem for him now? Like, oh yeah, yeah. This guy came out of nowhere and now he's gonna be a problem for him. Oh boy, here we go. We're getting into the battle so early on in the movie. I thought this like big battle face-off was gonna come later. Maybe there's multiple, probably multiple battles. Ow. Push! Holy <laughs> They're really pushing him back. This is insane. It's effective so far. This is very effective. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. He's gonna throw it now? Isn't that his only weapon? Doesn't he need that? Oh, he probably has a sword. Oh, there we go. Okay, he's got a sword. That's a, you know, I think I'd rather go that way. Uh, you know, it sucks either way, but I'd probably rather go off the edge of the cliff than be stabbed to death. Rip your cloaks up, men. Come on. Pull those arrows out of your shield. That's much more efficient way of doing it, actually. Oh my god, wait, these are so many more men. No Spartan dies! What do you mean, no Spartan dies? Are you sure? Wow! Oh, the poor horse. I really hate it when horses get involved. Horses are like the most gentle, like, scared creatures in the world. Oh, we're back in the village. We're back in Sparta. You will speak before the council in two days' time. Two days? My husband does not have two days. Yeah. Theron wants what you control. Make him your ally and you will have your victory. Oh, he's, she's got to use those two days to befriend that guy. Oh, it's this guy. Is this the guy that she needs to befriend? Oh, geez. The unfortunate if anything were to happen to him. Oh, you're threatening him. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, beautiful mother. Oh, threatening her too. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, she's got to befriend him. I don't think that that's possible. <laughs> There's no reason we can't be civil. <laughs> As we're killing all these people. <laughs> that was funny. Well, so he's going to meet them by himself. Wow. It is really a bold move, I will say, that he didn't bring anyone with him. You must be Xerxes. Is that Xerxes? Even now you are defiant in the presence of a god. Oh, you think you're a god? Why is he turning his back on him? It's scaring the shit out of me. By honoring the very name of Sparta, or Leonidas will be punishable by death. Getting flustered there, Xerxes. That even a god king can bleed. Ooh, what a threat. It was interesting. He was definitely getting frantic there and losing his control. You could hear it, like, just in the way he was delivering his lines. So oh, are these the... These are the guys that killed all those villagers and attached them to the tree, huh? Are these the guys? Oh, oh, they're gonna let this guy out now. So they keep this guy chained up only to fight? Like, come on, dude. You really want to fight for these guys? Ah! Come on, dude. Oh no, I am so scared. That's bad. Oh, that's real bad. This guy is scary AF. Oh! Ow! Oh no! <laughs> he can't die this way because I need him to hurt Xerxes. You know, we've already seen that. Get him, get him, get him. Is he seriously gonna rip that out of his head and then continue fighting? He ripped that out of his brain like it was nothing, man. They're fighting on a rhino! Poor, I feel bad for this rhino, honestly. This rhino doesn't wanna be involved in this. Are you kidding me? He's not gonna move. He's not gonna flinch. Oh, he will. At the last second, he just moved one foot. The rhino deserved better, guys. That rhino just deserved to be you know, running free on the savannah. Holy moly, Xerxes, I think you should just let Sparta exist, man, and stop. I think you should just stop. Quit while you're barely ahead. Huh? What? Who is, what? Why does that man have? Why, did, why does his arms look like that? How did that happen? Astanos, my son. <laughs> You know, that was like, come on, man. He's like a trained warrior. He didn't duck fast enough. He didn't see that coming. Like, his dad was yelling forever. That's heartbreaking, man. Oh, God. His dad is not okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did this guy go over to the other side? Your gods were cruel to shape you so friend of you. Oh, no. He went to the other side. This is going to be King Leonidas' weakness, isn't it? He's going to kill him, isn't he? Leave my soldiers. 
Until they hit a bath that empties behind the curtain. No! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All this because he told him he couldn't use him in battle. Like, this is just f***ed up, man. Ugh, and she's still waiting to speak with the council. All men are not created equal. That's the Spartan code, my little queen. My little queen. Wow. Oh, she's not doing a good job befriending him right now. Oh God, now he's gonna threaten her. Great. Yeah, lovely. What do you have to offer? Oh God, she's got a bargain with him right now. She'll do whatever she can. She wants to save her husband, you know? It's just an eye. God so fit to grace me with a spare. Oh my God. Guys! The speech he was giving at the beginning of this movie, he, he had an eye covered. So that was told from the future? You will deliver my final orders to the council. Is he saying like, when I die, you have to tell the story? Oh my God. He is a good storyteller. He's got a great voice for it. For the queen. Oh, he's taking the necklace off. No. I feel like that was protecting him, you know? Spartans, ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! Oh, great. <laughs> oh, now she's going into the council. I swear if this jackass doesn't support her after he her, I'm gonna be so pissed. I wouldn't be surprised. But most importantly, send our army for hope and that your choices today reflect their bravery. This guy better do the right thing right now. He's clapping. Oh, God, I don't know. Moving. Oh my god. But it doesn't change the fact that your husband has brought war upon us. You are wrong. Just hours ago, you offered yourself to me. Oh my god, this guy is such an asshole. Remove her from this chamber before she infects us further. Wow. Why didn't she stick up? <gasps> this will not be over quickly. Yes! 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 Oh wow, how poetic that all the money falls out. Are they seeing all the money now and realizing that he was corrupt? Yes. Or no, are they calling her a traitor? Wait, who are they calling a traitor? Oh, well, I guess the movie is calling this hunchback man a traitor, which is, yes, he is. I'm so glad she had that moment with him. I, oh, that guy deserved to die. He was a piece of work. She deserved to take her power back. Oh God, are they gonna send an army to help? I know it's too late, but... Oh my God, he's so stoic. He's like a statue. Oh my God. What is he gonna say? He's gonna take off his helmet. He's gonna drop the shield too. What is he doing? Leo! Oh, he's not gonna drop a spear, I don't think. Your spear. He's not laying down his weapons, man. He just didn't feel like wearing his helmet anymore or holding his shield, apparently. <gasps> he's forfeiting? Is he surrendering because he's thinking of his wife? Like, I'm just, I mean, I guess I get it. The odds are stacked against them, but I just didn't think he was going to surrender. No, he's not going to. He's changing his mind right now. Stereo! Oh yeah, he's not surrendering because his only goal, his only goal is to kill the king. That's it. That's his only goal. Oh wow, the way they shot this is cool. And the reflection of the steps. He missed. He missed. How did he miss? How did he miss? Oh, they're all dying. How did he miss? He just wanted to make him bleed. Was that the only point? He just wanted to make him bleed because he's not a god. Oh my god. What is he going to do right now? What? My wife. Wait, is the army here? Is the army here? No. Wait. What? No. No, they are here. Wait, no, I don't know what's happening. Maybe it is just the Persians. Oh no, it's the Persians all shooting at him. They're all shooting at him. Oh, never mind. I just wonder what happened after this battle with Sparta. Obliteration! Oh, now they've come back. Well, how many more do you have? Oh, there's a lot more. 10,000 Spartans! Commanding 30,000 free Greeks. So 40,000 people together, but 30, just 10,000 of them are Spartans. <laughs> okay, I don't think the people in the back could actually hear you, man. <laughs> okay, so this kind of has a happy ending. <laughs> what was up with that double zoom? I don't know if that was necessary like that. Okay, that was cool. Well, that was an interesting movie to watch with you guys here on this channel. It definitely had a unique style to it, a very interesting editing style as well as filmmaking style. I definitely appreciated that they held true to the narration theme and the theme of this 
movie being told in the future as a story from the perspective of that one actor. Let me actually look up who that actor was because I recognized him and it was kind of driving me crazy. David Wenham. Let me look up what he's done. Why do I recognize him? He was in Lord of the Rings? Oh, it's Faramir! That's where I recognize him from. <laughs> oh, okay. I definitely appreciated that they held true to that theme because I've definitely seen movies that start off with a narrator and then the narrator just kind of like disappears and then reappears when it's convenient for the movie. Um, like when the movie maybe isn't achieving the storytelling in the way that it wants to, they'll throw a narrator in there to make sure it's coming across to the audience. That's definitely not what they did with this movie. Zack Snyder definitely did a good job of keeping the narration present throughout the whole movie, keeping the style, making the style look like it was a bit more illustrated. So it definitely felt like you were even reading a colorful book or maybe playing a video game, but it just, it felt like a story that we were revisiting that had already happened. So I definitely appreciated that they held true to that element of it. All in all, I don't necessarily think that this is a movie that I'll probably ever watch again. I do appreciate it for what it is. I don't necessarily think the cinematography or the art style was my cup of tea. I think the blood splatter, the art design for the blood splatter being used over and over and over again. Like I get it. That was kind of what they were going for, but I, I just think it was unnecessary and a bit um, too. I, I don't know what I would, I don't want to use the word pretty, but like just too too much like a painting, I guess, for my personal tastes, but I understand why they were doing it and I think it worked within the piece. All in all, I just like movies to feel a little bit more realistic and this definitely felt like we were watching a movie that was filmed in front of a green screen. Just, it looked a little too dreamlike and um, fantasy-like to me and not grounded in enough reality because of the way they filmed it, but I definitely appreciated it for what it was and I enjoyed it while I was watching it. And it definitely makes me curious to go and look up the history of what actually happened, uh, how accurate this movie actually was or how many artistic liberties they decided to take because I'd like to know that now, but I didn't want to do that before watching the movie and potentially spoil any major <laughs> plot points. I'm also wondering why they modulated the voice for King Xerxes. Like, I, I don't know if I quite understand why they did that yet. I don't know. There were just some interesting choices in this movie that I don't necessarily agree with directorially, but that's why I like watching different movies here with you guys because it keeps me on my toes when I watch different things and... Tyler, Jesus Christ! It was based on a graphic novel. So You're scaring the out of me! They tried to make it based on... They, they did the cinematography based on the graphic novel. That's why it looks like a comic book. Yeah, it's literally based on a graphic novel. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's been, okay. See, this is the thing I don't know because I try to avoid doing too much research before a movie. Okay, guys, so Tyler enlightened me that it is based on a graphic novel, so it makes even more sense now, the art style for the piece. And I definitely could let a lot of that slide. It's still not my cup of tea, still not something that I probably would revisit again, but makes a lot more sense why they were using the narrator element and having a lot of pretty illustrations that definitely felt like I was reading a book. So it definitely worked. It definitely came across that way. <laughs> Tyler scared the crap out of me <laughs> interjecting there. <laughs> but yeah, this is the thing. Like when I watch these movies with you guys for the first time, I'm torn because sometimes I want to do research beforehand and sometimes I don't. And with this one, you know, I did a little bit of research on the actual battle, but not much, not really all that much. I just looked up some names and things. And so I didn't know that there was a book before this movie. And so that definitely makes a lot of sense. And it definitely was very effective. I'm always torn between wanting to do research before these pieces, but I also don't want anything to ever get spoiled and I like to be as authentically surprised as possible. So yeah, this was a fun experience and I'm glad I got to watch this here with you guys for the first time. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Until the next one, stay golden. Bye.